Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Americans are drowning in debt, and experts say student loans are one of the main reasons why. The average person owes more money in student loans than credit cards and car loans. So how do we get out of this mess? Here to give us some tips uh, is our resident financial expert, my soror and friend, Janine <laughs> Thornton. Thank you so much for being here today. Happy to be here again, Rashad. Yes, you, know, you always give us the good news and sometimes the not so good news. Right. Uh, and so we're going to start. So I read that one million people default on their student loans each year. How can that be? Well, you think about it, according to the Federal Reserve, student loan debt has hit $1.5 trillion. Oof. You know, that's trillion with a T. Mm -hmm. And so um, people are borrowing more than ever before. Um, now what's expected now is 40%, um, like you said, 1 million people yeah. are in default. And by 2023, over 40% of people are going to be in default on their student loans. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. so what's causing the student loan crisis? Is, is it because education is so expensive and then people just don't have the money to become educated, which is why it needs to be free? But anyway, that's another subject. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you think about it. You're right. School does cost more than ever before. But also people are borrowing more than ever before. And it has just gotten more expensive and it's easier to borrow. There's a recent Wall Street Journal article where now people who over who owe over a million dollars is one of the fastest growing trends mm -hmm. right now. Okay. So over a million dollars in student loans, we have to think about that. That's a lot of Just money. to get through education, yes. Right, so you're working just to pay your student loans off. Yep. But th I know there are some tricks to this, but anyway, uh, we'll get on to, to more things. What's the average interest rate for stu student loans right now? Well, there's really two different types of student loans. One is the federally backed loan, which this is what we want people to have if they're gonna have loans. And those rates are normally around 6%. Okay. Um, now, if you have a private loan, that's gonna be be from an outside bank or a credit union, those rates generally are between seven and nine percent, and those are loans you kind of want to stay away from. Okay, yeah. okay. So how how do we? Uh, what are the t tips that we need to, I guess, take heed to to get rid of loans faster? Okay. So for those of us who are struggling with the student loan debt, um, if you have a federally backed student loan, you want to take advantage of a income based or income driven repayment plan. Okay, okay. And that all you have to do is contact your lender. No more running or hiding. No need in being embarrassed and just say, hey, based on my family situation and my income, this is what I can afford to pay right now. Yeah. But if you have a federally backed loan, that's an option. If you have a private loan, it's typically not an it's option. It's not an option. So there is no repayment plan for those types, generally. Generally not. Um, the other thing, too, if people are really, really struggling, one of the best organizations that people can contact is nfcc.org, okay. National Foundation for Credit Counseling. So if you need help um, renegotiating your rates, getting a payment plan, one of the best organizations people should contact. Okay, so now is it true that if you set your student loan payments on like an auto pay, right. and when, when the company see that, that they could reduce your interest rate? Um, you know, that typically is true, and that's an incentive that they offer us. So normally they're gonna reduce your rate only by 0.25%, but when you owe thousands of dollars, every little bit helps. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so if we find ourselves defaulting on a loan, which yes. you know, a lot of people do. Uh, right. How can we get help with that? Um, what you want to do is, if, and you're in default, you want to what's called rehabilitate your loan. And so that essentially means that you're going to make a commitment over a 10-month period of time. You're going to make nine consecutive payments on time. Okay. And But it's going to be, again, based on your income. Okay. So it's going to be something, I've seen payments as low as $5 a month for people. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So if you can commit to doing that nine months in a row, you can come out of default and obviously improve your credit score. Oh, so this is a step-by-step -step process. Absolutely. Okay. And so let's talk a little bit. We talked about, that's loan rehabilitation, what we just yes. said. Mm -hmm. Now, loan forgiveness programs. Okay. This is one thing people ask me about all the time. So if you work in public service, so these are people in law enforcement or firefighters mm. or even people who work for nonprofits. Mm. So you have um, public service and then you also have teacher loan forgiveness. Okay. Um, the only catch is you have to work 10 years. Okay. Within that, and you have to be paying your student loans that entire time. Okay. So again, it's a great opportunity, but only for a select few people. Okay. Now, what are some student loan forgiveness programs out there? You just uh, said that, didn't you? Yep, I just said, you the said that. Public service. Okay. And the teacher. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was something totally different. Okay. No. So refinancing, that's tip number four. How about refinancing okay. our loan? I'm really glad we're talking about this. So you can refinance your student loans just like you refinance your house. Okay. Yep. And so the key is obviously you want a lower interest rate, which typically means a lower payment. Okay. But this is really for people who have good credit or a cosigner. Um, do not cosign for anyone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't do that. And you need to have solid income. 
income. Okay. So you need to be in a position to be able to make those payments for okay. sure. Okay. Yeah, but oh. please be open to doing that. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, is there a legit website people should check out when they want to refinance student loans? Okay, yes. There's a great website which is called Credible. 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 And so what it's going to do, it's like an open marketplace, just like how you can shop for shoes yeah. or you can shop for a car. You can shop for student loans, but these um, these lenders have actually been pre-vetted for you. Mm. So it's a really good site, but again, that's called Credible. You want to check them out. You want to check that. Now, people, people, I know I got to go. Right. <laughs> Sometimes people die with these student loans, though, huh? Um, you die. That's the only way that you can get rid of them. You cannot, even if you file for bankruptcy, um, your student loans are not forgiven. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. So think about this as you're trying to get more and more education. Think about this conversation. You are it's a genius a, in this stuff, honey. <laughs> Thank you, Janai. We appreciate Thanks. it. For more tips, please follow Janai. She is amazing. Uh, at Janai Thornton on Instagram.